Hey guys, in the next 5 minutes of this video, I will show you how you can make this thumbnail absolutely free and if you stick with me until the end, I will share with you a few secrets about making a good thumbnail. For making the thumbnail, we're gonna use Photopea, the link is in the description. When you get there, you need to create a new project. On the settings you set up as a 1280 to 720 on the background choose transparent and create. Then you can check in Google for some backgrounds. I personally choose this one. So you can pick whatever you want that doesn't matter because this is an example. Then if you need something for the thumbnail you can simply go in Google and type what you want. For example I'm gonna be looking for a cashback because I want to place it in one of the corners. And you can simply download them and place them on the board wherever you want you can of course resize it you can duplicate them and the next thing uh, i'm gonna add text by clicking here on this side you can choose whatever font you want for the for the text that you have put in i've chose this one i'm gonna make the same font for the all of the text that i'm gonna put from here you can choose the color as i did now I'm back in Google and I'm looking for the YouTube logo. I'm choosing one, which is gonna be this one. I'm saving it, again, open and place. You can leave it on the board, resize it as you want and place it wherever you feel is better. Then on the right side, by right clicking on the image that you wanna adjust, you can choose blending options. And from this side, you can choose whatever you want. I'm not gonna go in details. So I'm gonna skip forward, but you can basically change a lot of things about the image that you want to adjust. So you can check that out and see each one of them to see what it does and how it fits your thumbnail the best. The next step that you're gonna see me putting is the amazed face. I already have it downloaded, but you can simply go in Google again, like I said, type what you want and just download it. In the next step, I'm gonna be looking for pointing finger. So I'm typing that, but this image actually is gonna have some background. So I'm gonna show you how you can deal with that simply using object selection. And as you can see here, the cross should be full inside the object in order to mark the edges properly, like you can see right now. And then the next step is you can go on the refine edge, look what you have did and click OK to cut the background. And now you're free to use it wherever you want. I'm going to place it right here, pointing at the backs. And then I'm going to show you another basic thing that you can do. For example, I'm going to add another set of backs, but they're going to stand over the others. So you can simply go on the right side where are the images and move the backs under the ones that you want to put in behind. And that's how you can put objects behind or in front of something. And if you feel like that you're finished with the thumbnail, you can go on file, export as and choose the type that you want. I really recommend to do it as a PNG file. And now it comes the part where I share with you guys a few tips on how to make a great thumbnail. Because making thumbnail is easy, but making a good thumbnail is really hard. So I'm gonna share with you my top three personal thumbnail tips. So let's begin. So as a first thing, I'm recommending you to use a big letters if you're having a text over the thumbnail because the thumbnail is going to look uh, way smaller when you finish with that and upload it to YouTube and it's going to be easy to read if it's with big letters. My second tip is to not tell them everything in the thumbnail. If you show some kind of secret or mystery, it makes them click on the thumbnail more because they're curious about what that is and it's an easy way to get the viewer's attention. And my last tip for you is as number three, and that is to keep it simple. You don't want to make a thumbnail that is full of words and it's hard to read. I really recommend to not use more than four or five words in the thumbnail. That way it's not gonna be messy and it's gonna be easy to read. So that's my personal advice for you. If you feel like I helped you in one or another way, I would appreciate a like and subscribe and see you in the next video.